Hi, it's Rebecca Scritchfield, dietitian and healthy weight management expert, and I'm here reporting live from Experimental Biology 2010 for the American Society for Nutrition. I just spent the last four hours in a seminar hearing the latest research on the role of plants in preventing and helping to reverse metabolic syndrome. Now, 68 million Americans currently have metabolic syndrome, and this can lead to heart disease and diabetes. And we know that part of the uh, cause of metabolic syndrome is a lifetime of uh, lack of exercise and also poor nutrition habits. What I learned in this morning session is essentially researchers are spending lots of time studying plants and looking at the different phytochemicals that can actually um, work at the cellular level to help uh, the body prevent and reverse metabolic syndrome. And they have all kinds of roles, everything from being anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. Um, we know the fiber in vegetables and fruits help people feel full and so they consume fewer calories. So this evidence is just more powerful than ever that we need to make sure that we're eating a lot of plants. Unfortunately, there's a disconnect there. I know from my own research that 70% of Americans do not meet their regular fruit and vegetable recommendations. So I've got a couple of tips that can help you kind of uh, narrow that gap, if you will. What I recommend is start with looking at your plate and at breakfast time, try to get half of your plate to be fruit. And any kind of fruit that you like, berries are great. Uh, there were several studies that looked at uh, blueberries and, and uh, several of the other berries such as cherries and strawberries and cranberries um, and looked at their anthocyanin content and also proanthocyanins and their role in helping to uh, uh, heal the body at the cellular level so that you can prevent metabolic syndrome. The second thing that I would recommend is look at your lunch and dinner plate and have half the plate be vegetables. Both of these strategies are going to help make sure that your overall daily calorie intake is reduced and that you're getting these important phytochemicals that can help you prevent disease. Another tip is to increase your intake of omega-3. So there were several scientists that associated an increase of omega-3 intake and reduction in trans fat intake over the last 10 years by Americans is helping to reduce heart disease and manage weight and prevent metabolic syndrome. So my tips for that are to add in a handful of walnuts. I think walnuts are great any time of day, but if you're looking for a healthy bedtime snack, look for walnuts. They're a good source of melatonin, which helps to regulate your body's sleep-wake cycle. So it's a nice thing to have before bedtime to help you relax and get ready for bed. Of course, you want to make sure that you're hungry for those walnuts. If not, add them to salads. Uh, you can do walnut crusted salmon as an example. You'll get a one-two punch of omega-3s there. The other thing I like to recommend is chia seeds. And actually, chia is a high source of omega-3. It has about 10 times the omega-3 as salmon. I love throwing those in smoothies, oatmeal, cereals, yogurts. The bottom line is there are things that you can do to help prevent me metabolic syndrome, to help manage your weight, give you energy, and live a nice, long, healthy life. And you want to look for things that are easy, that you feel you can do and maintain for the rest of your life. I know you can do it. All you got to do is try. For American Society for Nutrition, I'm Rebecca Scritchfield.